Oh, happy Monday, happy Monday, yeah, happy so Monday. Felicia. Uh -huh, Felicia's there. Hey. hey, Felicia, turn your volume oh, up on Monday. your side. Monday. Okay. Happy Monday. Can Felicia. you do that? Uh -huh. Yes. All uh, right. So, all better? right. There we go. That's better. That's better. I'm going to turn it up over here on our side a little bit. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad. Happy Monday. Oh, my goodness. It's a busy weekend, huh? Baby. <laughs> Man. Busy. Very, very busy. We want to say um, a big shout out to uh, my godfather, Bishop John Thomas, who had his first in-person service since COVID on yesterday. And we had the chance to go and be a part of that. Super cool. We're excited um, about that. Oh, I found us. We are live, live, live. What you say, Pastor Gary is on. He is, you are the first one on. Okay, Pastor Gary. No, he, so, didn't, uh, he didn't be uh, carry on. Uh, no, I, well, but, she but, haven't said nothing, but Pastor Gary, there is a, a, a cookie in your future. That Pastor Gary. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> or prophetess. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if she's she's texting his Pastor Gary. So no, right. he, he's getting the cookie. If he if he, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We want to say welcome to you all. Would you please like and subscribe and share? We're super excited to be here. I got a lot of people to share with tonight. Oh my god. Um. So let me put it on Facebook. And uh, let's see. Um, um, wellness victories that's what it is wellness so hopefully everyone is doing well you have time if you like um to share the show and um tell some friends to come on i'm sharing let's see here Hey there, all oh, prophetess Ernestine. Welcome. He said he likes chocolate chip oatmeal. Well, it's the perfect one, isn't it, right, Mark? Uh, <laughs> We're gonna tell you where you can go. Yeah, to he said himself up. Yeah, he just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna tell you where you can go to collect your cookies. So uh you get ready. Should he decide to go? Should I open this or close it back? You're on air. Come on. You can't do it right now. I'm out. I'm out. All right. So um, we're excited. We've got some great guests. There is Miss Terry. Hey, lady. Welcome. All right. I'm sharing, sharing, sharing. Let me get it on my Instagram page. All right. And to some others. Um, sure, sure, sure. All right. So let me do some. Um, what we're doing, Mark, is we're sharing with people so we can get a, a large viewer. So we'll be getting started in one. Yeah, we'll be. We'll, yeah, we have. And we have a couple of our favorite seniors who struggle trying to get on so we try to help them out and send them the link <coughs> no um, okay all right thank so, you sir um, auntie sylvia ruby and Virginia. All right, all right, all right. We are we are getting this out. You guys don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps us out if you do that. And we're just about ready to go. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sending this out. We've got some more wellness victories to share with you all tonight. Super excited to do that. 
I hope you guys had a wonderful Monday. You know, this weather is just, I don't know. I don't have a word. <laughs> I'll make you laugh, though. The word is California. But no, it's all over the world. Yeah, There's a lot yeah. of stuff going on with the weather. One of my students said last week, he said, Dr. T, the weather is bipolar. <laughs> Good word. <laughs> That's my favorite so far. Uh, but hopefully... You've had a chance to um, get some rest, get some sunshine. That's what I'm most grateful for. All right. Oh, hey, Andrea's on. Welcome, ladies. Super glad you could join us on tonight. And uh, I think I've shared, I sent it to everybody. And so it is 7.32. I'm not sure what my name is going to be doing tonight. She's getting ready to leave. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And we're super excited because we have some new faces on tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't think, Auntie Cookie, you've not, not been on our show, have you? No. No. All right. All right, so right. All right Auntie. Yay. Yay. Making her debut. Making yeah. her debut. Yeah. 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 And then, of course, none of you all, well, yeah, nobody knows Mark yet on in our world, but you guys are gonna fall in love with. Well, them. some of them in our world do because they can't keep going; they can't stop going up there. But. Well, they see all of Nate's posts. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's our new best friend, Mr. Mark Gorgonson, and he's gonna tell his testimony tonight. And then, oh my goodness, my sweet baby doll. She looks like. Uh, a chocolate Barbie, didn't yeah. you? We, <laughs> we, we saw that gown the other night, yes, too, girl. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. Okay. And I saw the, okay. I, I saw I saw the saw budge. budge. Yeah. I saw the budge in her husband's jacket. I yeah, think, yeah, he, had yeah. I think he had a gun. I was like, <laughs> I was like security. <laughs> there, yeah, he was packing. Yeah. <laughs> we won't tell. Don't worry. We won't tell. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell. <laughs> And anyway, we're grateful to be here on tonight. And uh, we say, oh, hey, my Virginia. Oh, my oh we, my goodness, that oh, you would join. We love That's you. Beautiful. We're praying for you. That's beautiful. And uh, we have Leilani in our hearts and in our prayers, my love. So hearts to you. Um, we're thinking of you. You yeah. ready to get going, baby? Yeah, we're going to ask Ms. Felicia right. to open Ms. us up B, in prayer. would you pray us in? Yes. Yes. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. This is the day that you made, and we shall yeah. rejoice and be glad in it, Father God. We thank you for this time right now to be able to share, Father God, and hopefully it can touch somebody's heart. Somebody needs to hear it, and we pray, Father God, that uh, it gets to the right people, to the right yes. ears, to the right hearts. Yes. Yes. We just thank you for this show. Thank we you. thank you for Nate. We thank you for Dr. Bree. We thank you for thank them, you. for the yes. things that they share and the things that yes. they give back to and the wisdom and advice we just thank yes, you for them yes, and we lift yes. them up to you right now father and uh in your son jesus bless name you. amen 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 right. amen well this night tonight is our wellness night you know each week we try to have a bit of a theme and you know wellness is the thing in our family what do we say babe nothing, nothing tastes, tastes as good as, good as healthy, healthy feels feel. yeah. amen and we believe that your health truly is your wealth and it, yeah. and this body deserves your best. And so uh, with that in mind, we have uh, spent a lot of time just encouraging people to um, make some changes, huh? Yeah, make some changes. Yeah, just make some yeah. changes. Yeah. And uh, in light of that, we have some, some people on tonight who are going to share their testimony. And we are, we're going to start with Mark because we don't know Let's what, Mark, Mark. what Mark's going to have Mark. to do. So Mark um, is at work. Mark's at work. And uh, you know, uh, where we all want him to be, by the way. We're gonna <laughs> let him give his testimony, but Mark run a vegan restaurant in Pomona on Second Street. And it's in the uh the what's the district? I'm trying to think the of the antique, antique yeah, district. Like the antique. And he's right in the heart of downtown, next to the college, the medical yeah. college there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, the name of his uh, restaurant is Gorgonson's. Gorgonson's. Yes. And it's right there. On and, uh, Second Street. I'm going to put it in the chat. It's 224 East Second Street in Pomona. And uh, look, look, guys, this man can cook. <laughs> you know? And and look, and he's a vegan cook. He's a vegan. Uh -oh. 
chef. Oh and the, and yeah, chef. He's not a cook. He's, he's a, a chef. Cook. And he's the thing about it is, he will. If you mess around and and walk up in there. He, you're going to be stuck. Yo, God. See, because people hear the name vegan and they run. Mm -hmm. But this man right here, I went in there the first time and I and I ordered a, what he called a spicy burger. And I kid you not, I took a couple of bites and I said, wait a minute, this, this guy, he run the game on me. I turned around. I said, man, you sure this vegan? Uh, we both said it kind of like at the same time because I, I was there vegan? and I took the first bite and I thought, okay, wait, did you just get a regular burger? I know. I, so know. I said, I think I got your burger. I was getting all panicky. Yeah, because if this one bite into a regular burger, she going to get it sick. It would be instantly. bad. It would be mm -hmm. bad, right? And I mean, I was, it just blew and my mind. And then he said like for the 50th time, no, everything is vegan. It's vegan. It's vegan. But it's so delicious. You never know um, the difference. Never know the difference. And no so difference. then we had to get to know Mark. And of course, this one right here has been down here. Yeah. <laughs> Was he there today, Mark? No, Come don't, don't tell Mark. Don't tell. <laughs> that's, that's, between, that's between me and Mark. But we are happy to uh, introduce you guys to Mr. Mark Borgensen, who is the chef and creator of Gorgonson's, I don't know, what is it? Gourmet vegan it's cuisine? vegan <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, yeah, it's all of that. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. So and, the thing, and the good thing about Mark, he's still adding to the menu. Yes. I yeah. it, and and I'm, I let me shut up, yeah, but I'm going to say this, because I'm going to let him tell it. But I messed around and went in there, and I was ordering my regular, and he said, well, no, Nate, you ought to try this other sandwich I got. And I'm like, what? He said, Philly cheese steak. And I was like, man, please. Yeah. You know, my like, Come on, bro. This is a vegan restaurant. And he taught me to buying it. Oh, my God. And he oh. said that somebody tried to steal his salad. And, and then, yeah, when I, went up, when I went to the counter to get my plate, everybody in there was following <laughs> my plate like. <laughs> but go well, ahead, Mark. We're going well, to let you talk. Go ahead. Tell us your amazing story, Mark. Yeah, like uh, Nate and Bree were, uh, Dr. Bree were uh, dis discussing right now. I have a vegan restaurant here on uh, Second Street, so it's like downtown Pomona. Um, like you said, the antique store, two two four East Second Street. Uh, we're next to the uh, Western University College. Uh, Western University. A, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just a pleasure to to serve this community who I believe is underserved. You know, uh, one of the main reasons I decided to open up this spot was because I was able to convince my parents, who usually never eat vegan food. Eat I always try to convince them to eat uh, vegan food. And uh, we would go to these places that just overcharged and under delivered. Yeah, and it, yeah, was just, yeah. it wasn't a really good experience for them. So when I saw them devour the food that I would make for us on the, you know, on the weekdays or the weekends, it kind of got me thinking, maybe I have something here. If I got these, mm -hmm. you know, carnivores, you know, finishing up the food, <laughs> right, right. maybe I have something here. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Uh, and, uh, you know, the way they felt after eating it, the way they, you know, they wake up the next day because the body has to process food and things like that. My mom's a diabetic. So when she does her numbers and she eats regular meat uh, or dairy, she wakes up with high numbers. But when she eats right. the food that I prepared for her, the next day, her numbers are, she's surprised. She's taken away by those numbers that she gets. And it's, you know, a way to definitely want my parents to stay here longer with me. And also I can do that for the community. So yeah. uh, if I can real quick, the name uh, of the restaurant is Gorgonson's. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it's a nickname that I actually created for my son. So um, I went vegan about seven years ago once I saw the birth of my son. Something in me just changed. Something, wow. a, thought, uh, a thought crept in my head, uh, which was just weird, right? It was a weird, weird thought that I want to protect him mm -hmm. no matter what. Right, you know? right, right. And there's vulnerability also. You know, you can't always be there for your kid. You know, right. so this vulnerability took over me. And this weird other thought crept into me saying, I hope no one eats him. Right. You know? right. And and it makes no sense, right? Uh, right no one right, really right. eats humans or babies like that. But I thought that basic thought, I wonder if other sentient creatures have thoughts like that. Wow. It was yeah, a basic yeah. thought that I had in my head. I wonder if the cow who is birthing a calf 
things. Yeah. I hope no one takes my cap away. Mm. Maybe right. the chicken. Right. We just see right. a chicken oh, having absolutely. a fit. Yeah. And absolutely. a chicken might think, I hope no one takes my chicken away from my chick away yeah. from me. Absolutely. You know, we see them as animals, but there's a connection there. You know, uh, uh, yes. they go through that. So a month after that, I went vegan. Uh, cold turkey, it was hard. I made some mistakes along the way. I thought it was good with garlic bread, but I realized that uh, they have butter. In it. So just little tweaks that I had to learn. Yeah, yeah. right, right, yeah. right. And uh, and um, we tried to get my son to latch on to breast milk. It didn't work. And we uh, worked with Infamil, I think it's called. Or yeah. I forgot what the, the powder milk is. Yeah. Uh, and every time we gave him that, he would throw up. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't know that majority of, of the population is lactose intolerant. Yes. yes, the majority sir. of us were born this way, meaning yes, that sir. we don't have the facility to actually right. process and break down milk, you know, wow. and That's the enzymes right. that it has. So I kept doing some research and I found hemp milk. It's like a seed yes. milk. Yes. And he would just down it. He would finish <laughs> it. He would want more. And I was like, what the heck? That's cool. Right, so right, I, right. So I was, as I was transitioning to veganism, little did I know my son was also, in a sense, doing it. He was my yeah, little yeah. vegan, you know? So every time every time I would greet him, I would greet him with, oh, my gorgeous vegan son. Uh, and, you know, they say that us Mexicans, we talk really fast sometimes. You can't <laughs> hurt them. So after a while, always greeting him and hugging him and kissing him, saying my gorgeous vegan son, those three words, you know, combined yeah. together. I created that nickname for him, which now he thinks it's his name, you know? Gorgonson. So uh, that's how the name came oh, to be. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. When you come to the restaurant, uh, maybe you get that cookie that Dr. Bree and Nate are talking about. You're going to see a picture with the name. And that picture is my son at five months. Wow. Uh, and it's just a okay. reminder yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. that one, you know, we're living for ourselves, but there's also someone that follows us. Yeah. We're, we're their leaders, we're their educators, we're their teachers, we're their parents. And uh, with that being said, you know, I named it after him because he's going to follow me. Yeah. You know, after I'm I'm done and gone, he's going to be here. And it's just a reminder to me every time I'm here clocking in, working, his logo, what I'm doing. And it's not just for him. It's, you know, for the community, for for his peers, for his future. Yeah. You know, we talked about global warming. The number right. one cause of global warming isn't what people think is transportation. Everyone's thinking it's the cars. It's the trains. Right. If yeah. you did the math uh, and like they do, like they've done, they know that animal agriculture is behind the biggest animal polluter. The biggest polluter. Yeah, yeah, we're just talking about CO2. We're talking about true. they're taking away forests to do cattle farms. Yeah, We're talking about all the pig, uh, the pig uh, f uh, factory farming that they have. Yeah. What do they do with all that waste? They right. have these piles of waste, right. the pools right. of waste right. that they right. can't just right. throw right. away. Right. Now the community, the local yeah. rural community, whether it's Missouri, Louisiana, these these yep. places North are Carolina. getting yep. they're, yep. North Carolina, they're getting cancer because of the yep. smell. They their property that they work so hard, their houses they can't sell. So this is right. a bigger issue than just sometimes uh, just health. You know, it, yes. it pertains to environment. It yes. pertains to you know all these different things that people really don't know that what's going on. So as I learned about that, I realized you know this might be the future. It doesn't have to be for everybody. I get it. Right. We don't have to force or shove any idea that we want to throw. But by being a good example or leading by yeah. example, I think we can motivate people to uh, make those small changes like you were opening up with uh, during the uh, during yeah. the podcast here. You were saying those small changes, you know, it adds up. And we can, you know, be better for it. Not only ourselves, not only think of ourselves, but think of what's coming behind us. You know, this great... Yeah. Yeah. Next generation that God has put in our hands. Wow, yeah. that's beautiful, man. Yeah. So weak. You, you know what? And I'm and I'm listening to you talking, and I'll, I'll just say, don't wait until you do like don't don't do like I did. I had to hear my doctor say, "Man, your blood pressure's up, and we can't get it down." Yeah, you know, you know your cholesterol, and and he said, and this has never happened with you, so. What's going on? And I didn't really know, but I came. I, I came to the house. I didn't even tell my wife about it. I didn't even tell my wife about it. But you know, I believe that God gave me this thought. You know, and I've been hearing this a lot in my house. You know, I hear this all the time. It's on your plate. It's on whatever's wrong. You, hey, you know, 
far as she concerned, if you, if you lose a tooth, it's on your plate, <laughs> you know. And so, and so I, I heard, I kept hearing her, and so I said, you know what? You know, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take meat out of my diet and see what happens. I kid you not. Be this way. Before two weeks was up, you know, I mean, blood pressure was normal, very strong, very stable, cholesterol. I mean, I was sleeping better. I was sleeping better, you know. I used to stay up really late so I could go to sleep, you know. That don't work, you know. And your body's going to sleep or it's not. But after I took the meat out of my diet, I was sleeping better. Mm -hmm. I had all, one of my friends say, but what about your energy? What? I said, man, I got too much energy, <laughs> you know? And, and so, you know, it's, it's really amazing that our bodies, we need to pour into our, we'll go to a store and we'll spend $200 on a shirt. Yeah. But when it comes to our bodies, oh, that's, I'm not spending no $15 on no burger. But we just spent two hundred dollars on a jacket that we're not gonna wear. Leave you know? my jacket alone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot she just bought a jacket today. <laughs> you leave my jacket alone. I, I forgot she just bought a jacket today. You know, but but we really do need to change. And I really love your story love on your story. how your parents you you did it not for you. Yeah, you know, but you you know you yeah. thought about your 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 son. You thought about your family. You thought about your parents. You know yeah. that they were going, they was having issues in their body. He said, "Well, let me cook differently," and he didn't tell them. He just fed them. Wow, and they liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and so you know, it it really does mean a lot. It does play a difference it in how and how we live. You know, and by eating. Better. You need to tell one more part because he had been in pain. Oh my God. For a long time. Yeah, I was going to a chiropractor. And he was going to a chiropractor. What's the pokey thing? I was um, getting the acupuncture. acupuncture, you know, and he went to uh, the therapist and they gave him these pills, but that pain would not go I away. Would not leave. No. And he gave up meat. And that pain slid out of his body so I had forgot. Sweet. I had forgot. It was amazing. Somebody asked him, well, how's my the sister, pain in your leg? My sister, she, <laughs> my sister had started, her legs had started hurting. She said, well, do you still have pain in your legs? And I said, I have pain in my legs? I, I completely <laughs> forgot. Wow. Gone. And I know that it was a direct yes. result from taking the meat off my plate. <laughs> yep. And guess what? Right after that, she took it off her plate right. and her husband's plate. And her legs stopped hurting. Sure did. She sure. didn't even mm -hmm. live on Sunday. Look, so if you have pain in, in your, your body, body and you have tried everything, oh gosh. I promise you, Just try if it. you take that meat, and look, but you got to take it, you can't take it off today and say, well, I ain't stopped hurting. No, <laughs> no, it's going to take a few days, right? Because your body's going to have to readjust. You know, and, and and I'm proud to say I'm at probably 75. He has been me for maybe 75 to 80 days. I haven't checked. Yeah. Hey. We are and I have and I have hey. no intention. I know that I I, I hear because my you know my friends I have a little breakfast club. They be like, man, when you gonna start eating meat again, man? You know, but now they don't even say nothing. They just you know they accept that. And and I and you, so you need people around you going to support you. You know. And uh, and I don't know when I'm gonna start back eating meat, or if I'm gonna start back, you know, because if it's not broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Oh, geez, <laughs> Mark, tell us again about your mom and dad's numbers after they eat the happy food. That's what we'll call it. We yeah, happy call it being food. right. right. We'll yeah. call it happy food. I, I can't really recall like the specifics of it, but um, they're pretty wild when they're not eating correctly you know and as yeah. you know it's it's funny how everyone's all sensitive when it's like um the nutritionist the dietitian you know once my mom ended up uh, being in the hospital they would oh, be wow. very sensitive around these foods because right, food is right. uh, food is uh, emotions food is more than oh, just, yeah yeah we, we live you know, yeah yeah so yeah. there to me i was surprised how they were tiptoeing around what needed to be said Wow. I didn't like how the healthcare professionals were trying to 
kind of appease my parents. Of so you yeah. can eat a little bit here and there, but it's like saying how much poison is too much poison, you know? Come on now. And yeah, and and the reality is that people don't know that our bodies produce its own cholesterol. So when they talk about good cholesterol, the body knows how to regulate its own cholesterol. That's the good cholesterol we're talking about. Right. And every time you add a little bit of the bad cholesterol, which is maybe eggs, maybe bacon, you know, maybe sausage, whatever you're adding, you're just adding, you think it's a little bit, but with the exponential compound interest, it just wow. adds up by the end of the night, you're feeling like, you know, not good. Yeah. And then we talk about men in, in America, or why are they uh, dying faster than women? Oh, well, yeah. Studies we and uh, the culture oh, okay. is, the culture is that we're looking at it is that men, eat the most meat during uh, barbecues oh yeah and absolutely. Eat way more and when absolutely. women do eat meat they choose smaller yeah. portions and they'll yeah. choose probably lighter meats like chicken but, yeah right, you know, right eating right. eating meat and being a male go hand in hand a lot people think yeah, um, and point. that's why we have a lot of the number one problem in america is a uh, cardiovascular disease and that's when yeah. we get our our hearts you know, clogged up, our arteries yes. clogged up. So yes. I don't remember specifically the numbers that they had, but right. um, they were not aligned with the healthy, correct numbers but that they were supposed to you can definitely see the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, she we would have to, the difference. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. would have to, I believe, like take insulin in the morning just to yeah. regulate it. And that's without eating anything. So that tells you that that food that she was eating the night previous, uh, you know, it takes a toll on your body, you know, yes. and, and it's hard to fight that. Uh, like I said, that culture that we were raised with, it's hard to, you know, you know, some parents get insulted. You won't eat my food, you know, yes. and it, it's not about that. It's just, it's, yeah. it takes a lot. People think it's hard to learn. It's even yeah. harder to unlearn. Yeah. You know, That's the hardest oh thing gosh. to do. So Absolutely. to break those habits, it's a little tough, but. Yeah. Uh, when they do break those habits and they realize the next day the numbers are better, they feel better. Everyone that comes into this restaurant, hopefully your viewers do come, they find out that, man, I'm full, but I'm not lethargic. I'm not tired. I'm, I'm not, not tired. tired. Oh, my God. Time. I yeah. don't have the itis. I don't have to go to sleep. You know, <laughs> right. I can actually get back to doing something. <laughs> right. And that's what food is meant to, to have to be. You know? I love yeah. that part of vegan food. You eat, but you're not stuff. Yeah. You're not ready to crash out. You know, especially black folk, when we eat, we we out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but with vegan food, it's not like that. Now, I want to, before we go to the ladies, I want to address something because uh, yeah. Pastor Pettit was like, all meat, well, Pastor Pettit, it's different for different people. Some When I first started, I would, not, I would eat fish, baked fish, but I wouldn't eat any other no, meat. My, and I ate chicken for a long time. But after I did the research, chicken is the worst piece oh, of meat on the okay. face of the earth. He, I mean, and, and and now they're raising them on these farms where they're injecting them. They're living in, in the horrible conditions. It's, and and they're going to sell that stuff because it's all about money. You know, a lot of these animals are sold even after they die, unnatural yeah. deaths. You know, now, now. I, she, she and then she also said, "I'm not sure that's a wise idea for us." Do your research. We did our research. Yeah. And 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 and, and people think that it is true. They get the protein from the meat and all that stuff. But there's a thousand ways to get protein into your body. There you know what is. I'm saying? There's a thousand ways. And and then think about this. Think about this. Let's go all the way back to the garden. What nobody eating no meat. You understand? Matter of fact, that cow that we eat, he eat grass. He never <laughs> ate burgers. That cow that's got all you know, that protein you, know, you need. All, the, all those animals that we're eating, yes. they don't eat that stuff. You know, and so, you know, but do your research. Do your research. We're not doctors. You and know, one, one other thing we do want to say is this. If you were raising your own cattle your own chicken you would know how it was being raised and what was going on but with we it. don't know what's what we and find we don't would, know how I, it was raised. i think you would you yeah. would be able to eat that meat and know and experience something maybe different but what we're eating what you're getting in the market is very very uh controversial on what where it's from what it's doing so 
this is just an opportunity for you to try to just learn to yeah. hear some. Yeah, just to hear some. talking different. about victories, and technically, yeah, um, Mark's uh, restaurant is a haven for us. I didn't know my husband was going to choose not to eat meat, uh, but when he did, when he did, the proof was in his body's response to it, and that's what we want to say. If, if you have pains and conditions in your body that you already know, you have taken meds. You did everything. You have gone to every doctor. You have shifted all this stuff around. All we're saying is maybe that's a sign that your body's sending out to you that it needs all of the, it needs to come away from you. We've seen studies and participated in them oh my God. where it's only 10 days, 14 days. You're not talking about even 30 days, but there are people who have experienced my sister in love, his sister, within 48 hours of Saw pain, a change in her body. A pain that she had had. She couldn't hardly walk. They had to stick a big needle in her knee. She was still on a cane. But within 48 hours after just, I'm going to not have meat for 48 hours, that pain reduced down to a level where she could walk on that leg. So it's just that we share these things because it's something to be mindful of. And let me tell you what we're saying for Mark. If you will be one of the first 10 people to go down and just try just try something. He's got, oh my gosh, Mark, you should go get your menu with your pictures. <laughs> no, no, we can pull it up. We, we'll, 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 okay. we'll, okay. we'll put your okay. information. Matter of fact, the first person who go to Mark's restaurant, bring me the bill. <laughs> We're going to buy you. Bring me the bill. We want you to not just try the meal, but yeah. he's got these vegan cookies. Did Dr. Yeah. Burnett say cookie? I said, cookie. I don't eat cookie. She I don't eat cookie. nothing. I don't be eating stuff. Yeah. We went and I tried one the last time. Everybody else didn't have one. Oh my God, you guys. So we are <clears throat> the first 10 people to go down to Gorgonson's. You can tell them, I saw you on Let's Talk with Nate and Bree, and, and he has a free cookie. <laughs> Not only that, with your not meal. only that, he's the nicest cat oh, in yes, the city. Yes. But look, we we want to move on. But, yeah, we're move but, on. but, but Pastor uh, Petty, I want to when you we when we get some time, let's talk. Uh, uh, there's a lot of fish options that you can get. Yes. There's some there's certain fish you should, absolutely should not eat. Oh my god! But gosh. there are fish you can eat, and then when you do eat it, bake it. But we'll talk about, we'll talk that. about that. You know, but. Uh, and uh, come back because we want to keep having this conversation. Yeah, so you yeah, guys yeah. that are in the chat, that thank you so much. Because uh, he's having Vivi. pain already. Oh my gosh, so in your leg. I promise you, if you take it yes. off the plate, you Just won't. I promise it. you. Promise you. And I, I and don't it, say it, that. It can't yeah. hurt to eat the stuff that God made. It can't hurt to eat though that that yeah. plant based, you know, world. And listen, do I look like I missed any meals? <laughs> I have been vegan for almost 20 years, you guys. I don't look like I missed any and, and I'm going to tell you the, how I know that it was real because, look, I'm from Greenville, Mississippi. Yeah, this is in Mississippi. Come on now. I, I can't even go home They're and say, their water. I can't even go home and say I'm a vegan. They'll hang me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know because... In the South, you can't turn down food. It's the it's the highest yeah, insult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to say I don't want to eat that. There's bacon in the water. Mm -hmm. But not only that, then we're gonna move on. <laughs> I knew that it was real because Mark is right down the street from a Hilltop Jamaican, Jamaican restaurant. restaurant. Oh my god. You can see it. Look, when I passed up <laughs> Hilltop to go to a vegan restaurant, there must be a guy. There's a guy. <laughs> this dude right here who eats meat every day who eat who ate meat every oh my god he top he loves meat. vegetables but he's going over there for them oxtails them oxtails lord by Jesus. the way you guys do know that oxes don't have tails right, right. okay that's a different thing <laughs> um but anyway <laughs> you mean that it's a cow tail <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. uh, anyway Mark, thank you. You hang on, stay on the line with us. As long as you case, want to, sir. As long as you're available. Yeah, yeah. Um, we want to thank you so much. And again, 
first 10 people. Let's do it. Free cookie. Just tell them, tell them you, you heard about them. From and the off. first person. First person. Go and buy a burger. There, bring me the bill. Nate's paying the bill. He's tell right you, back. you know, just bring me the bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and I'll reimburse you. Because yeah, okay. I promise you, you're going to like that burger. And look, uh, this, this is how I cheat at Mark's place. I get his French fries. Now, Mark don't have regular French fries. He have a special type of high grade. <laughs> uh, you got to live in in in, in Bel Air kind of all that he took his fries in, right? Oh my God! But anyway, let's move on because we can't say enough good. <laughs> Mark, is there anything you want to say before we move on? No, just thank you for the opportunity, and I agree with everything you guys are saying. It's it's going to be a challenge for a lot of people, but uh, oh, yeah. they should accept the challenge as a fun activity. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, challenge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a fun little challenge. Uh, uh, there's this, uh, I believe, there's only one blue zone in the whole uh, country in the uh, of America. There's seven around the world, and a blue zone is an area that the average uh, individual lives to about 100 years old. That's Not right. Only they live not only do they live that long, but they live a healthy life. They're moving right. around, right. they're working, right. they're right. doing right. chores, they're helping out, uh, they're spending time with their loved ones. Uh, and one of those places is, uh, or the only place in America is in Amir Loma, I believe it is. Okay. And that, and that place is a religious seven-day Adventist religion. Right. Yeah. You right, know, right, Loma right. Linda. Uh, it's Loma Linda. Oh, that's Loma, what it is. Loma, yeah, Loma, Loma Linda. Linda. Yeah, yeah, Loma yeah. Linda. And they live and, a plant-based life. And they yeah, live 100% yeah. vegan. vegan. Yeah, exactly. And you know that's from the Word of God. You know, yeah, so yeah. something to think about. Something to think about. Thank oh you, my sir. God, Mark, we are so appreciative of your time tonight. <laughs> appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, and we thank right. God. So stay on as long as you like. Um, but we we uh we appreciate, man. He has so much. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Very so thank much. You. Oh my gosh. So thank we you. thank God, and our goal on our wellness to uh, Mondays, our wellness week, is to really just bring to you um reasons to really take care of this temple. Many times we 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 just don't honor it the way. It deserves, but we want to say again, your health is your wealth. It doesn't matter what you own. When your body doesn't work, it doesn't matter. And you only get one. You only get one you body. only get one. So your body deserves the best. We're excited that we found uh, the, the vegan restaurant that Nate will go to and eat. I think God has jokes that it's down the street from where he used to go for oxtails. I think oh it's wonderful. Um, we took my mom in love there. And um, Barbara, and she's decided if she ever wants a burger again, she's going to Gorgonsis to get it. So, I mean, that's top notch. She's a carnivore for real. Yeah, Like yeah, my Barbara yeah, does not play. Yeah, she's yeah. carnivore. So yeah, yeah. love, love, love. All right. Well, now we're going to go to a testimony, another testimony of healing. Um, and that is from uh, a good friend of mine, a new friend in my world. What? How long have we known each other, Auntie Cookie? Mm, uh, mm, about a year and a half. Two, two, almost two. Almost two, two years. <laughs> so I met her. She's connected to my new family. I call them my bonus family. And uh, she called me. I sent out the message to say, I want to hear some testimonies, uh, wellness testimonies. She called me to tell me her testimony about a change that she made that really impacted her body. Come on, Auntie Cookie, just tell us a little bit about yourself and then tell us your, your story. Okay. Well, tell him I'm going to be over there tomorrow at, <laughs> after lunchtime. <laughs> I just want him to know that. that. Yeah. She works here, so you go see Auntie Cookie. Take I'm gonna be a lunchtime, and then yeah. I'm gonna tell the county folks. All right, there you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's help out uh, the small business. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, well, I um, my name is Aria Wise, and I uh work for LA County, uh, also for years. Yes. <laughs> And um, also, uh, I, I uh, not with my age, but there's some people like to know. And 
I'm uh, 73 years old. Uh, uh, oh, so my testimony is the fact that I uh, coming down the stairs and I tripped over my dog. Oh my and God. I fell from all the way from the oh stairs God. to the bottom of the stairs. Oh God, my Lord. And I could not get up. Mm. My poor dog was trying to get me up. She yeah, kind of right, up, right. up under me. Oh trying to my lift God. Me up. Yeah. And she couldn't lift me up. Oh, oh she was all up fanatic. Then she oh, yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. But the ambulance had to come get me. I stayed in the hospital for four years, uh, four days, sorry, Dang. four days. And, um, you know, whatever they, I don't know what they were doing, but I'd say, <laughs> <laughs> and so I was able to at least get up and walk, you know, right. with the, with right. the crutches, I was able to walk, um, out of the hospital, sort of, I sort know. of shaky. So then, uh, I went on to the doctor's office to be checked by my doctor. Then he gives me all these pills. Of course. Come to, come to realize, I always check all the pills that he's going to give me and what they're going to do for me. Right. 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 One say may create cancer cells. Oh, God. And I said, no, I'm not I'm taking not that. that. No, right. No, right. So then I went on to the uh the herbal store and uh went there, asked the lady uh what you know, I told her what the problem was, and she told me to get bone up. Bone well up. I got I uh, got the bone up because it's supposed to heal your uh, your your well all your bones, you know. Right, and in right, right. well, my ninth bone was cracked. My God! My eighth bone slid down. Oh, Jesus! Uh, my back because I slid down the stairs. Yeah, yeah right, so, right. And. Probably other stuff that the doctor didn't tell me because he said I shouldn't have been walking. Wow. So he didn't even tell me why I shouldn't have been walking. I don't know what right, happened. Right, right, right. You wow. know, uh, so because they did the MRI. Mm -hmm. He said, by the MRI, you should not be walking. My God, my God. And I said, I, I, you know, I told him, well, you know, you know, my God, you know, I would always, I go be in there fighting him. Uh, <laughs> I say, I say, you are a doctor, but I'm also a doctor of me. Uh oh, so I got you. So I will take what what the Lord and yes. me decide and direct. <laughs> I'll take that. You tell me what's wrong with me. Uh -huh. And me and the God, me and the Lord get together. We'll figure it so, out. <laughs> so oh, I, I took the bone up and I used my uh, the crutches, the cane, what they gave me, whatever. And, uh, and I had a brace on me. Uh -huh. And, you know, I just, it, it, my Back at uh, my bones are just just heal, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I thank God, you know. Well, when I fell, I sure was praying. I, I prayed all the time. Right. You know, the Lord just the uh, Holy Spirit talked to me. Just keep on praying. I was just praying, you know. Uh, I'm sure the paramedics probably were like, what's, you know, if yeah. they're not used to hearing people pray. Right, right, I was right. Praying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I was praying uh, all the way to the hospital. I just, Lord, I don't know. And this, you know, you when you're going through something, you don't know why you're going through, but right, it's a reason. Right. Right. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes right. it's a reason, yeah. and I like Lord Chetta. What is this reason? But I just tell this testimony to 
uh, all everybody that would listen to me because I know it was number God. Yeah, right, come on. He 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 led me to do get what I needed yes. to be able to uh to my body to heal. Yes, right. my body yes. to heal. Yes. Uh, the tell so, us again where you got this. So the the bone up you all was was not a medicine that the doctor no, it's a herbal. It's oh. I got it from Clark's uh uh yeah. um. Uh, um, what is it? Uh, market Clark yeah. Market. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. that's Absolutely. where I go, and I, you know, they have people or staff, and yes. you tell them what's wrong with you, yes. and they'll tell you what herbs to take. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. so that I've been basically uh been in, and I'm into herbs. I take vitamins, herbs. I don't take pills. I take vitamin herbs all right, all and right, say it right, breaks right. down better in yeah. your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. and so you know, other people, you know, they can't believe the age I'm at. You know, yes, because yes. I, I, but I always take herbs. I've been yes. taking them for years since. Yes. Whew, long time. Yeah, yeah and that's taken. good. And that's good. That probably yeah. that helped break that, that fall. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. And, you know, we're so grateful yeah. because you know, so many people are looking for they're looking for answers with the doctors. And I love the way you said it. You said, I'm the doctor of me. Yes. And, um, yeah, I know you're a doctor, but I'm the doctor of <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I why. Know. That's why you gotta it know is. what not to put in you your body. You have to advocate yeah. for listening to Mark when he said. Even the doctors that were dealing with them, they were very shy and kind of like they didn't really want to say too much. Or, you know, sometimes they're giving you information in their best interest. Right. I love it how you said you pray and you let the Lord lead you. And you right. found phone up. When you get a chance, we definitely, I'm, I'm going to help. If someone has some bone issues, if you have bone issues, we want to make sure you can uh, find that. It's at Clark's. I'm going to put it here. <laughs> market. It's at Clark's Market. And yeah, there's one right here in Ontario. And right. there's also one in Riverside. In and Red. There's one out in Redlands. Yeah. Um, and so, and then I think there's one in Indio. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but the, the, the purpose of this testimony is basically to say, that there are other options out there besides just being filled with all these medications. Other drugs, yes. You've seen those commercials where mm -hmm. you know your head's gonna fall off. You're not yeah. gonna yeah. blink your it, eyes. It, it'll hear you, but you're gonna have to have cancer, diabetes. Yeah, you're gonna lose the eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you're gonna feel better. <laughs> Take this pill anyway. You know, yeah, 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 it's crazy. So, it's but crazy. at three, yeah. you guys, she had to make a decision. And now look, look how God used that to yeah, heal yeah, her body. Yeah. And she's just doing well. We celebrate you, Auntie Cookie. Thank you, so Thank you so much yeah. for being on tonight. Yeah. And yeah. last but not least, we have my sweet pea, my my chocolate Barbie. So <laughs> hello to, uh, to Pastor Doris K. Yeah. Um, and, and Doris, get a good look at that man's face up there because yeah. that is the owner and chef of Gorgon's. Yeah, that's Gorgon's owner so right when there. You so when the you walk in the door, that's who you're going to see. And we're going to okay. see the first 10 to go. If you mention our show, he's got a free cookie for you. We're, we're, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even call those cookies. Well, oh, yeah, we got to come up with a different name, name for that. Yeah, we got to Those are not just, yeah. you know, like chocolate goodness experience. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to right. Felicia. So, Miss Felicia, Miss Felicia has been working. You guys have seen her before. She came on and shared her testimony, but I just, you know, sometimes you hear that and then you need to hear the update. Doris talking about, I'm on my way. Yeah, see, <laughs> he's still at the shop, Doris. I don't know if you might be able to get it. <laughs> well, we can just wait till tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, Felicia has been on the wellness journey. It's over a year now. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to talk to you tonight. Just share with us some of the changes that you've made and some of the victories that you celebrated. Yeah. You know, when, when she look, she made some changes, guys. Her husband started wearing camouflage outfits. <laughs> <laughs> 
Your mortgage don't pay. I'm surprised the mortgage ain't in the chat. What is your mortgage tonight? Oh, God. Yeah, go, go ahead, yeah, Go ahead. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. He's not here right now, but I did All want right. to say to Mark, for sure, I'm grabbing him and uh, we coming down to Gorgas. I just want you to All know. Right. Just remember, yes, we're coming because I, I, I want right. him. I, I love the um testimony. I wish he was yeah. here to yeah. that, Mr. Nate. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. 70, so many days. Really that he amazing. Yeah. I, 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 so I, I'm going to look it up. But yeah, yeah, you still look it up. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead. Tell us. Tell us. Definitely. So. Yeah, I don't want to be all over the place, but I'm just going to share my stuff. First of all, I just want to say I have this, okay? That I got. <laughs> and all right, I, all right, all yeah, right. And I titled it Wellness, and I went to this page, and this is so funny, because this was my, when I oh started. Oh, my God, her yeah, shred day. Oh. This, oh. February 13th, 2023. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And I, you know, I put on here, you know, because I took my um juice plus shake. Oh, look at that. Um, yep. You know I mean. yep. With almond milk and blueberries. And it's completely vegan. Yes, yes. It is. Yes. And I had my omega oh, blend. Look, she got the full blend. Go ahead, girl. My Go ahead. Vegetable blend. <laughs> oh, she got my that berries. juice plus. We we gonna, we gonna, we gonna turn you on to that, Mark. Mark. We're we gonna, gonna turn you on to the plus. Yes, yes. And yes. my fruit. Like, for your every, daily, 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 daily. Daily, now, daily. I know daily. that it gives you all your fruit and vegetables, but I'm telling you, it was just more than just like I started this to be a weight journey, but it was so much more than that. It was. Come on, girl. It was so much more Come on. Come than on. that. Yeah. And even um some of the things that help because on this same page. At the end of it, I put, I feel today energized, mm. motivated. Yes. I have decided to change my mindset, change my plate, change my life. Yes. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but every day oh, I wrote okay. in it because they, and I would encourage everyone, you know, when you write everything down, even when I messed up, even when I did and ate stuff I shouldn't have, I, I wrote right. it down. Right. I wrote it down exactly. because I wanted exactly. to know what was I feeling, what was I going through. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I made sure, you know, but it helped me so much. And just to add to um about like when you change your plate, because right when I started, I had gout really bad. Right. And right, yes, right. and sometimes it would be hard to walk from my car, the parking lot, into my office by the time I got to my seat. Oh. Wow. And I would be limping. And it was so, everybody, Felicia, you okay? Felicia, you okay? And it, it would be hurting so bad. It was like burning. It's like a whole bunch of little needles. Like it was right, right, right. Yeah, right, like the right. burning sensation and stuff. But same thing like you, Mr. Day. I didn't know exactly the time. I want to say it was five days. I don't know. All right, of a sudden, right. it was because yeah. like, um, my husband was like, how's your foot? And I was like, what's up with my foot? <laughs> <laughs> right. It you was forget. Good. Right. Right. When I used to get down off the bed, I would be like, oh. And I try to keep as much weight off of that right foot. Right. My but um, I started getting down, going, you know. And then he was looking. And he, he said, is your foot okay? Like, it doesn't hurt anymore? And right. I was like, when did, when did my feet hurt? Right, right. I'm just saying. During that first shred, and you guys, yeah. we can learn more about the shred, but the mm -hmm. shred is just a 10-day yeah. wellness yeah. jump start that yeah, we yeah. do as a team. Yeah. There's a group of us, um, and we do it once a month. As a matter of fact, today we started our shred for the month of April. And I remember we were we were doing our shred stories. I want to cry. And um, Felicia said, you know what, you guys? It's 10 days. And and my gout went away. Gout. Now listen, you guys, gout is a packet of uric acid that gathers in the, a weak spot my somewhere Lord, in your body. It could be mostly in your feet and in your ankles and right, maybe right, sometimes right. in your hands. And it's directly connected to meat in your diet. Yeah, yeah. Directly yeah, connected yeah, 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 to yeah. that meat in your diet. Within 10 days, she stepped out of that bed and there was no pain in that. No place. pain. Oh no my pain. God. No yeah. pain. And I don't even, it don't even, not, nothing, nothing. It's been nothing. Right. 
It's been right, a year. It's right. been a year and a half. That's Not that. beautiful. Evaporated. Gone. <laughs> and, 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 and that's why we do this. That's why we have this show, the wellness show, because look, we're not going to gain anything if you stop eating meat. You know what I'm saying? But we, we share it because we know what happened to us. You know, I mean, look, mm-hmm. our first daughter, you know, all my friends was like, oh, she didn't got to him. She didn't got him, God. But she didn't even know I, I had know. stopped eating meat. I found out on Facebook. She she didn't even know. I posted it. And by the way, I'm on day 78. Day 78. Wow. in my body. Yeah. You know, and and as far as like, uh, and and I heard Pastor Pettit, and it makes sense because I was thinking like that too. Like I don't know if that's safe, you know. But you know, check it out. I take my vitamins. I take my Juice Plus. I'm probably the Juice Plus taking this person, He's y'all so know. <laughs> you know, and so I, I I take I take my vitamins, and I don't buy I don't take store bought vitamins. You you know what I'm saying. And so, you know, and then I drink a lot of water. I put my vitamin uh, C in my water. You know, I take my vitamin D, all gummies. All my vitamins come in gummy form because- Plant powders. It, plant, plant powders. It, 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 it's, uh, it's easy for me to eat plant powder gummies because prior to getting on my health journey, I was addicted to uh, peach rings. I don't know yes, if anybody's so. familiar with the mm-hmm. picture rings. You guys know what those are? Yeah. Yeah. Coated with sugar. Uh, and, sugar. And, 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 and because I like them so much, I would go to Dollar General where you get two for a dollar, right? And I would <laughs> I would I had my two doses of peach rings, every two day. packs every, every day. day. And that sugar was killing me. You know? And so when I tried, when I tried the gummies, the gummies, the plant-based gummies. They just as sweet, but there's no sugar in it. Mm-mm. There's no acids in it. Mm-mm. There's no chemicals in it. Mm-mm. Hey, look, I was pretty much so. So, you know, of course, my wife complained that I eat too many. Yes. But I found out that they say there's no such thing as you eating too, eat many. too many. You so can't now overdose. Now on he's juice just plus. a gummy monster. But no, what I did, I, <laughs> I, I, did, gradu- I did graduate to the capsules because the capsules are more potent, mm-hmm. you know. But I keep my gummy bags open on the counter, all three <laughs> flavors, and God forbid that we run, run out. out. I go into a panic. Yes. I'm like, you're not on your job, young lady. He told what me. He said, I refuse to live in a I'm, gummy I'm not house. living in a house without gummies. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, we ordered the extra. So, you know, so yeah, uh, Felicia, that's the power. That's, that's powerful. powerful. Yes. Tell us, tell us, because how you feel in your body. I feel great. I, okay, I'm not going to give out the number like uh, Auntie Cookie did. I'm not going to give the number. Cookie <laughs> 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 girl, spill the tea. <laughs> um, I have a lot of energy. Yes. And then, you know what I started noticing? And I kicked my skin. I'm Yo, like, oh my God. My skin. Yeah, yeah. I remember you was, yeah, I remember yes. that. Yeah. My skin. My it's light and bright. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, it's All so much more. Yeah, it's so much more. And plus, it just teaches you good habits because with that, you have to um, drink your water. You, you have know, to drink I keep, your water. I keep my water now. all the time. Come on, come on. Water can't be bad for you at all. Water is come great on, for you. Come on, so come on. it just brings on good habits. You know, my alkaline water, my alkaline food, just yeah. everything. Yeah. Me yeah. moving, me moving my body. It wasn't until, like, we talked about um, March movement. I'm like, how am I going to do that? I don't like going to the gym. I have a whole extra curriculum of line dancing. Right, she right. does line dancing, you guys. Yes, right, that's right. my movement, and it works yeah, for me. Yeah. It really works for me, and it's fun. It's yeah. fun. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, nothing but great benefits. Beautiful, and beautiful. Way of life. Way of life. Way, way of, life. of life. This is not a diet. This yes. is not a fad. Yes. Um, this is a lifestyle. And what we say is, if you change your plate. You can change your life. And I'll and I'll end it up by saying I, yeah. I weighed over 400 pounds. 
And I spent a, just a lifetime in shame and challenge in my body. But uh, the way I've kept it off is by taking the challenge to pull that meat out right, right. and to really embrace and and love the fruits, vegetables, and berries and things that God designed our bodies to eat. And yeah. it's amazing how good you feel when you're not weighed down and contaminated. And like I said, I don't, y'all can look at me. I don't look all, I'm not a skeleton um, because vegetables, vegetables, I mean, man, fruits, vegetables, God, God made them and they're wonderful. And if you want to figure out a way, if you want to hear about a great way to get more fruits, vegetables, and berries in your body in an easy way, you just reach out to me. I'll show you how to do it. It's not hard, is it, Miss Felicia? No, no, no it's way not. of life. It's, and you're gonna love the benefits. Hard. That's why right. love and the benefits. benefits. <laughs> Amen. I, I like I like what Felicia said, and so much more because you do. You know, I remember I remember my skin changing, and and my eyes and Your everything. Eyes. You know, my if, a lot of times if you looked into my eyes, you thought I had a nip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just lift your hands but and say I, thank I, you. I didn't have a nip. It's just that something was going on in my body. But the Juice Plus, like, just just clear. Not just, I mean, my whole entire body. I mean, you just feel so different. And look, I'm getting older. What? I'm getting older. So, so they, they can criticize all they want because I know that in June, on June 14th, I'll be 68 years old. Wow. And so... I wow. want to make I want to make sure that I get up there with Auntie and keep yeah, moving. Yeah, keep going. Yes, you know you what I mean? Because going. when you get older, you have to do better. Our mm -hmm. bodies look. I when I was a young guy, I used to get on the track and run around the track six, seven times, sometimes ten times. Now I might walk around there once. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> you know, and so you know, look. Oh hey, hey, just try it. Like even with the shred, guys, the shred is 10 days. Ten what what days. the shred does, it tells you what not to eat in those 10 days. And then it tells you what you can replace what that you with. Eat in those 10 and, days. and look, try the shred, guys, for 10 days. And if you don't and look, if you don't see a change in your body, I don't know what else to say, but I promise you, you will see a change because I did the shred too. Yes, you did. You know, it was tough for me yes. because they was talking nonsense It'll to me. It'll be easier now. Take what right? off my plate? What? <laughs> you know, but I did it. So now it's, it's it's like like Felicia said, it's a way of life now. It's a way yeah. of life. You know, I, I don't want to live it any other way, you know, because I know how I feel. And yeah. so I can't tell you guys what to do. But I can I can tell you that if you give it a try, man, I promise you you would not be disappointed, and your body's gonna love you. Your yeah. body's gonna get up on time. Your body's gonna walk further. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, your mind. Oh my god, your yes. mind will yes. be clear. I went yeah. and had my little eyes checked, and my doctor was taking so long, and she said, "Oh my god, your vision." Is better it. than it was last year. And now that's crazy because your vision is worse than a year. Every, <laughs> Every year, your, right, your, your vision, vision gets worse. And yeah. she asked me, "What? Well, okay, tell me what you're doing." So there's so much to be had. Oh my gosh, our time is up it's tonight. Eight thirty, man. Yeah. Oh geez, we want to say a great God bless you to Mark. Thank you so, Mark. What's your last name? Uh, Nava. Nava, Mark Nava. I was okay. calling him Mark Morganson. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get that right. Sorry. So, okay. Mark, you want to say thank you? Is there is there one last thought you want to share with us before we we wrap up our show tonight? No, just uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here. It's a great conversation to have. It's a hard conversation to have. It's it's hard to get people to think outside uh, their plate. Sometimes they think it, it can't be the food, right? Yeah. Because right. that's, that's that's what they know so much of, but when you start putting it together, you start realizing why, you know, why does my stomach feel like this, you know, or why is yeah, my yeah. attitude, oh. right. why am I having a bad day? 
Right. 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 What's annoying me in my stomach? You know, a lot of, uh, like I said uh, earlier, with the, the keyword. Oh my goodness. With the uh, with the dairy that I talked about earlier, yeah, yeah, intolerant. Yeah. You know, you have to run to the restroom constantly. You know, yeah. But with yeah. this, you know, vegan lifestyle, it's a little easier on your body. Your body, like you're saying, it knows what to do with this, with this, with this food. It doesn't have to sit in your stomach. You know, I've only been vegan about seven years, but I wouldn't doubt that I still have meat in somewhere in my intestine. Oh yeah, absolutely. Meat. They say it takes meat. ten years. Ten yeah, meat just get it out. It yeah. just sits there. So yes. once, yeah, once yeah. you start changing your diet, like you said, you start changing. Even like you said, your your mind starts getting a little clearer. Yeah. You start processing things a little different, yeah. and even like the kind of philosophy behind it, you're not as bloodthirsty. Right, because you're not taking you in the get blood. Angry, so oh, you're not, right. Uh, you're not in, you're it's not like there's those, a calm. You're not taking in these extra hormones that you were talking about earlier. You don't know oh, what no. they're giving the the chickens so they can grow faster and bigger. You're taking oh, yeah, all that yeah, in yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. taking in the the fear, all that stuff that they're going through. Those emotions you're also eating. So yeah, it's yeah. Oh, more than just yeah. Ew. Yeah, oh, and that wow. is so true because I remember being in elementary school. Girls look different than they look now in elementary school. Yes, they do. You know, I was like, "Wow, wow!" The, yeah. She's because coming of, out of the elementary school, you know, because of the, the stuff the heart they put these the hormones in into their food. It's true. If right? it makes the animals grow, it'll make our kids grow prematurely. Truly. Oh my God! You know, so uh, <laughs> to have you back on, you have to come back but, on. But uh, here we go, guys. Gorgonson's Restaurant, two two four East Second Street, Pomona. It's it's on Second Street, east of Gary. Yeah, east yeah. of Gary. Before you get to what the your, medical what your, Yeah, what are your hours, Mark? So if uh, it's a uh, Monday through Friday, uh, Monday through Thursday, eleven to nine a.m. I'm mean, eleven to nine p.m. 9 p.m. Right, right. Yeah. Right. And then Friday, Friday and Saturday, <laughs> same thing, 11. But we actually stay a little bit later. Uh, Friday and Saturday. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, we, uh, it's sometimes we stay till 12 or even one o'clock in the morning. If wow. you can believe that. Right, right, because, right, right. Because there's tell, a lot of tell people us out why. there. Tell us why, again. There's a lot of people out there drinking, right? And right. when they drink, they get a little hungry. Right. <laughs> and they sometimes want that opportunity to see. Just to eat food, right? So the the cool thing is you calm down, you get the we call them it's like the in and out animal fries, but we call them animal list fries. Right. So you get the right. you know, <laughs> French fries with cheese, and you get all these different things on them. You eat mm -hmm. them, and then you realize that the alcohol and the food isn't mixing in a negative way. Oh, hopefully now. something hopefully something clicks in them. They go, whoa, I don't yeah. feel bad. I'm not throwing right. up. The right. food is mixing right. really well with my stomach. Uh, one of the right, things I used to right. do when I, I used to drink back then, I would get a craving for dairy, like ice cream. I don't know why. Right. Right. A sweet, <laughs> sweet tooth. But try yeah, to mix yeah. try to mix, you know, ice cream and beer together. No good. Ooh, Lord, but but if you get oat milk, <laughs> ice cream, mm. your body knows how to process these things. Yeah. So it's just waking up to those things and hopefully I can reach out to them, not yeah. forcibly, but indirectly by them coming in and ordering. And seeing maybe we can make some like you said those small changes. Little yeah, changes. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You got to come up with a, a chicken wing, a chickenless wing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. don't get into thinking. I know. I walked walk in there one day and he say, "Man, I got some chili." And he was oh, yeah. look at it in, and, yeah. and I'll say, "Chili, you know, yeah. I didn't make chili without meat, you know." And so he gave me a little sample of it. And I said, he, I said, why are you making the chili? He said, well, I'm finna start serving chili cheese, cheese fries. fries. I oh. got those chili cheese fries. Lord have okay. mercy. So well, okay. This tomorrow, we got a dinner. I ain't had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we got to post those pictures, Nate. All those pictures. Oh, yeah. Are, we gotta I got repost pictures. Them. So go to my page. I'm going I'm to put them up when I get off, guys. Okay, so, a so. little bit of a disclaimer it is vegan, but you know, yeah. it's vegan fast food. This is not right. you know, mm -hmm. something you should eat every day. No, right. no, I'll treat but myself. This one right I'll here. I'll treat myself. And we love Mark. We appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, and we yeah. thank God for what you stand for, what you're bringing to our community. Yeah, this is awesome. And again, you guys run on down. First ten who mentioned our show, there's a cookie waiting for you. And those those vegan cookies, 
I don't care what y'all say. Don't be disappointed don't, if they not there. Yeah, if he's out, just the, come back. Them college kids down the they street. They figured it out. They be fighting <laughs> over those cookies, you know? There was a lady walked in there one day. She walked in yeah. and she said, where's the cookies? And, and he, he said, said I, I saw that. She turned around. Turned around. <laughs> All right, guys. We love we you guys. Love you all. Okay. Thank you. Mark, thanks for coming Mark, on the show at work. You. We appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. You're yeah. looking for a chef that can help you eat properly. Go down yeah, to the get, get some good stuff yeah. in. All right. All right, AT, love you. Yes, love y'all. Uh, Felicia, AT, you want to pray us out? Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you thanking you and praying you for this time, Lord. We thank you how you blessed us, how you given us wisdom and knowledge, oh Lord. You said that you seek wisdom and you'll find it. We thank you, Father God. That you blessed us, O oh Lord, that you lead us and guide us in every uh, area yeah. of our life. Yes. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 All right, guys. You guys, you, can you, guys, are, you guys are, are wonderful. Wonderful. We love thank you. you. You guys thank are. You. All right, Mark, I'll be down there. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> Lord, thanks guys take care bye bye good night good night so we thank god for all of you all we're so grateful oh, um for just this opportunity we're we're thrilled that uh we get to share these stories with you and as we said listen hey you know the the idea here is if your body is saying something yeah, to you yeah, yeah, yeah. if there's pain and challenge you know, right. all those aches and things. My sister in love is in the chat tonight, uh, Miss Doris Hampton. She'll tell you um, 48 hours and it made a difference. Pastor Pettit, thank you so much for joining us. We got we to so we we find a time to talk to you. Yeah, Pastor. yeah, yeah. We're going to reach out to you. And if you want to know more about how to get plant powders in your life, if you would like to know how to do our 10 day shred experience, if you're looking just to start a conversation about how you can increase right, your personal right. wellness levels, then just reach out to me, inbox me, and uh, or ask me. Ask Daddy, he can tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell you. We want to say a good God bless you to all of you in the chat, Miss Francesca, all the way from Texas tonight. Thank you My so goodness. much for joining yes, us. Yes, we're, yes, we're grateful, yes. so grateful for you and your testimony. You're gonna have to come on the show, lady. Absolutely. We thank God Absolutely. for Miss Corey. Corey, I, you said you're ready to do it, girl. Uh, we're just gonna tell you salad. Oh, we have Pastor Levi on. What's Pastor Levi in there? Yeah. What you say? Well, we're grateful that you could join us. And uh, we want to encourage you uh, to prayerfully, prayerfully bring your plate to God. Just bring your plate to God. And uh, we know he's going to do something awesome for you. We have, of course, it, the third Monday night is our money night. So our finance man will be back on next week. And our goal, you all, honestly, is to challenge all of us mm -hmm. to build our wellness levels in our, you know, spiritually, physically, financially, and yeah. even ministerially, because right. we know that all of those things come together to make us who we need to be so right. that God gets the best because yeah. we want to give him all the glory. We love you guys. Thank you so much. You and we'll see you right back here.